Jannah, my brothers and sisters, I want you to think about paradise because this is what drives us. In paradise, my brothers and my sisters, time will no longer exist. Allah says in Jannah, خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا In Jannah, my brother and my sister, you will live therein forever. And in not a hundred years, not a thousand years, not 10,000 years, not a hundred, you will live therein forever. You will never, ever, ever die. Can you imagine that? You will never die. Some of the scholars, they tried to give an analogy to help you understand. And they said, imagine, right? Can you imagine this hall now? Imagine we filled up this hall with sand. How many grains of sand do you reckon will be in here? Khalas, it's a figure that you can't count, yeah? Surely. The scholar said, imagine we filled up the whole earth, we filled it up with sand. Really, the, the, um, they actually used mustard seed, right? But yani, They said, imagine we filled up the whole earth with mustard seed from the ground all the way to the skies. And every one billion years, one bird would come to earth, take one mustard seed and go. And it won't come back for another billion years. It will come back after a billion years, take one seed and go. The scholars say, this bird will use up all of these mustard seeds. All the mustard seeds would finish and you will still be in Jannah. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا You will be there forever, my brother and my sister. No fear of death. In Jannah, you will never grow old. Did you know that? An old lady, she came to the Prophet of Allah and she says, Oh Prophet of Allah, is there room in Jannah for an old lady like me? He says to her, No. In Jannah, there are no old ladies. So she began to cry. So he smiled at her, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. With that smile that penetrates the heart. And he says to her, in Jannah, Allah will take you back to your youthful days and you will live forever in Jannah as a youth. In Jannah, my brothers and sisters, you will be the age of about 33 years old. Can you imagine you and your father are the exact same age? You and your mother will be the exact same age. And in Jannah, you will be as tall as your father, Adam. About 30 meters high. In Jannah, my brothers and sisters, you will never have to go to the toilet ever again. Imagine that. You never ever have to do number one or number two or number three. Some people do number three. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, there's only one and two. In Jannah, you will never go to the toilet again. My sisters in paradise, you will never have your monthlies ever again. You will never have these emotions and everything that comes along with it, my sister, never done, finished, dusted. In Jannah, you will never get sick. In Jannah, you will never get tired. In Jannah, you will never sleep. You don't sleep in Jannah. In Jannah, my brothers, you will never get old. You will never get tired. You will never feel fatigued. It's just pure and pure and pure happiness 
for eternity, forever. This is the prize that Allah has prepared. In Jannah, there's no more fasting. In Jannah, there's no more Salah. In Jannah, there's no more Wudu. In Jannah, there's no more worship. Nothing. You never have to do anything ever again. In Jannah, you will be clean shaven. No more this. You see this? This won't be there in paradise. I can't wait, man. <laughs> well, I can't wait. Uh, look, really, wallahi, it's the sunnah and wallahi, I love the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Wallahi, it's the sunnah and it's here. But if I had the choice, le, wallahi, I'll rip it off as soon as I can. <laughs> you know, I'm an electrician by trade. So, as an electrician, I use the cordless drill a lot. And sometimes I'll be doing a delicate job and, and I have to sort of focus and get close. So many times, you know, I'll be focusing, getting close as I'm using the drill and, and my bead gets caught in the drill. Right? In Jannah, no more. And in Jannah, my brothers and sisters, imagine, maybe the boys, they won't appreciate this as much, but the sisters. In Jannah, the Prophet of Allah, he tells us, that you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to be the most amazing creation that ever walked the earth. Wallahi, in this dunya, grab the most beautiful woman on the face of the planet. The most breathtaking woman. And tell her, look, if you can change a couple of features within yourself, what would you change? Wallahi, she'll give you a whole list of things. But in Jannah, my brothers and my sisters, you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to go, God damn, man. <laughs> Who is that, man? <laughs> Woo! Hey! <laughs> Perfect in every way. Sisters are really struggling. What does he mean? You won't change anything. Perfect in every way. This is Jannah. And in Jannah, nothing will ever get old with you. You see, in dunya, everything gets old. In dunya, everything is beautiful to begin with, but then it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'll give you an example. Maybe the younger guys, they're not going to know what I'm on about, but maybe those that are a little bit older will catch on. Do you guys remember when the Atari came out? Does anyone know what the Atari is? Sega? Nintendo? The young guys are thinking, who's this dinosaur, man? What do you mean Atari? <laughs> Does anyone remember the Nintendo? You remember the first one? You know, the, whack, whack, you know the one that duck hunt? Yeah? When that thing came out, I was a very young, young, young. When that thing came out, Ya Allah, that was the peak of happiness. That was it. If you had that, that's Jannah on earth. There isn't any more purpose to life than Nintendo. So when we were young, I couldn't afford it. And it was expensive, you know. And my mom and dad were doing it, you know. So I would beg, mom, dad, you don't understand. Wallahi, this is it. This is the peak of happiness. This is the reason. This is the purpose of my existence. The Nintendo, man. You got to get me the Nintendo. Anyway, so because it took them so long to save up the money and buy it for me. Eventually, when they did buy it, Allahu Akbar, the joy and the happiness in my heart, man. You know how long the joy lasted for? Until the Super Nintendo came out. And because it took them so long to buy it, it, there was a very small gap between the Nintendo and the Super. Wallahi, and what was the purpose of my happiness became the purpose of my misery and destruction. Come on, man. I can't play that count while the brothers are playing Mario Kart. Come on, man. 
Wallahi, and I spent my life like this. Eventually, when my mom bought me the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64 came out. When the Nintendo 64, and this is dunya, man. You never, ever, ever have.